Home sweet home for the Wildcats. Today marks the home opener for the University of New Hampshire football team and the Wildcats dominate, you know, at the dungeon going undefeated three of the last five seasons at Cowell Stadium today hosting Lehigh Mountain Hawks. In the first quarter, UNH up eight zip. Sean Goldrich to Harold Spears for 53 yards. That's a big touchdown, 15 nothing. To the second quarter, RJ Harris takes the direct snap. The trickery works as Harris trots in for the TD, 23 zip. Then Goldrich back to pass, finds Jimmy Giansanti, 31 yard touchdown. Goldrich finishes with four touchdown passes, career high 422 yards through the air. UNH wins 45-27. Local boy Troy Pelletier scored for Lehigh. Other college football games for New Hampshire schools and their close finishes also. St. Anselm beats Southern Connecticut State in overtime 23-20. Elide Kovilu with a TD run in OT. Plymouth State wins its home opener on a last minute drive beating Mount Ida 30-24. Mark Hennessy scored the game-winning touchdown with 23 seconds left in that game. It was opening day for Division III high school football. Overall, 13 NHIAA football games on the slate, including Campbell at the defending Division III champion, Bo Falcons. Pick it up, 21-zip, Bo. Sean Stewart to Jason Smick for the rushing touchdown, 28-0, Bo. Big rushing attack overall on the day for Bo. This time, Casey Ayasolo with the TD run. Overall, five different players score for Bo as they win 35 to seven. Bishop Brady at Epping Newmarket. Third quarter tied at 14. Bishop Brady's Brendan Johnson passes to Aiden Plumpton, spins away from one tackle and has open space of more than 30 yards to score the touchdown, taking the lead. Epping regroups and answers. Ben Myhot, he comes across the middle, makes the catch, and breaks free for the touchdown. Back and forth game, Bishop Brady takes it 35-34. More D3, Guilford at Franklin. First quarter Franklin ball, Ken Torres. Drops back, heaves it high, completes it to Dylan Royer to get the drive going, but it stalls with no points. Second quarter, chance for Guilford to get on the board first. Carter Mercer to Kyle Gaudet, but that drive gets nothing. Eventually Mercer and Gaudet connect for two second half touchdowns, propelling Guilford over Franklin 12-0. Division one late game, Merrimack at Bishop Girton. Fourth quarter tie ball game at 10. BG kicks and FG taking the lead 13-10. Merrimack responds at the goal line. Joe Giampietro punches it in for the touchdown. Blocked PAT makes it 16-13. Final chance for Bishop Girton but Merrimack comes up with the clutch interception. Merrimack wins 16-13. Alvern at Nashua North. Third quarter, Alvern up 14 zip and adding to it. Jason Mahoney takes the handoff and pushes through to the right side for the touchdown and nine yard score. The Titans unable to answer. Alvern goes on to shut out North 27 zip. Big transition year for defending D2 champion Plymouth making its season opener against Lebanon. Fourth quarter, Lebanon down 7-6, but takes the lead on a Tanner Sims touchdown, now 14-7 after a two-point conversion. Last chance for Plymouth, Derek Preble hands off to Justin Robinson, a 22-yard gain, but Plymouth can't score, and Lebanon wins 14-7. St. Thomas Aquinas at Pembroke, punching through the banner, but it's St. Thomas that scores early and often. Steven Hedberg hands to Ryan Bennett, takes it the distance for the touchdown, 7-0 St. Thomas. Then a bit of a crazy play as Hedberg drops back to pass, throws a rainbow. Pembroke defense tips it, but a St. Thomas receiver comes down with it for the TD, 14 zip. Later on now, 21-0, Hedberg to the end zone for Liam Middleton, a nice TD catch. St. Thomas wins big, 55-0. Other high school scores, Division II, Windham beats Trinity, 49-12. Kellen Bale with a couple of long touchdown runs for the Jaguars. Division III, Interlakes, Moultonboro, 35, Fall Mountain, 20. Newport shuts out Muscoma Valley, 47-0. Stevens takes down Newfound, 32-zip. Winnesquam defeats Raymond, 27-12. Still ahead in sports, we turn to the pros, Major League Baseball. The Boston Red Sox continue their series with the Kansas City Royals, a team vying for the AL Central title. Highlights coming up.